everybody, I'm Jason Ritchie, and we're going to do cleaning your harmonica today. I'm using the old Joe Spires method of cleaning, which involves a couple of tools. Number one, isoprol alcohol, preferably 91% volume, so there's more alcohol to water ratio, less chance of rust, although you should be wiping it off. Some tools to take your harmonica apart that will vary depending upon what harmonica you have. Today I'm going to be working on a Joe Spires Marine Band, which has special 20 cover plates. Okay, so we got isoprol alcohol. You're going to need an old toothbrush and some purple kaboom, which you'll see in a minute. First thing you're going to want to do is take your harmonica apart, okay? Just use your screwdriver and take it out. Now I replace all my harmonicas, the Marine Band nails, with screws. So I have screws on the outside and I have screws on the inside. And I do this to my own harmonicas, and the harmonicas I buy, the custom harmonicas that I buy, have that done to them as well. Okay, be sure you keep your screws someplace safe. Okay, for me, that will be here. <laughs> it's not the safest place. Anyway, now Joe has used some little hex bolts. I order these hex bolts, too, from a website named Micromark, and I use them when I'm drilling holes. And I drill those holes with a Dremel. Now this one has nuts and bolts on it. I tap mine, and Joe taps his now too, but these are some old harps from Joe. These are about three years old, and uh, they still work great. You can see, if you look closely, that uh, some reeds have been replaced here. Okay, so I just replaced the reeds. I will be not be making any videos on how to work on your harmonicas because I would need a cameraman, a better camera, and I don't want to be liable if you mess them up, you know? But this is a pretty safe procedure. Having clean harmonicas is very, very important. Get the screws off, now you just take your reeds off, okay? I'll be very careful when you reeds. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, well, we'll go over this later. So, grab your reeds and your cover plate and head to an area where you can scrub them down. Purple Kaboom, okay, which can be bought at CVS or Walgreens or Walmart if you have to. If you get a chance, see the movie Walmart, the, uh, the high cost of low prices. That will change your opinion on, on shopping at Walmart, hopefully. All right, I put them in. I put the dirtiest side up as to give it the most amount of uh, Kaboom on there. Okay, put them in there. Spray them down. All right, after a couple of minutes has passed and the kaboom has time, had time to um, settle in, it's time to scrub them down. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab one of them out of there. All right, there it is. Take your little toothbrush, okay? Kind of hard to see there, yeah. Now, you want to lightly scrub side to side, okay? You don't want to go lengthwise because you run the risk of the bristles of the toothbrush getting caught in between the reeds and the reed slot, which could mean that you'd have to realign the reed later and probably pull it out with a set of tweezers. Okay, that can still happen, all right? You can still get the bristle cut in, caught in there, even there. I use a very light and fast motion. Cleaning your harmonica will uh, make it louder, more responsive, and I believe will preserve the life of the entire instrument, okay? It's a good idea, especially if you spend a lot of money on custom harmonicas. All that gunk and deadness that sticks and makes the reed sticks, even when the reeds don't stick, it makes it sound dead, okay? Scrubbing that off is gonna keep your harmonica in better tune. If you have gunk building up on the back of the reed, that's gonna make that reed, that's gonna make the end of the reed vibrate differently. And it's gonna change the pitch just a little bit. So this actually keeps them in tune. All right, you scrub down the cover plates. I keep clean harmonicas. It's very important to me. Winslow Yerksa doesn't believe in keeping clean harmonicas too much. He thinks the gook inside is good, seals off air leaks. Well, I get the air leaks out ahead of time. Winslow's a really smart guy, and he knows a lot. He's the first one to admit or think about something open-mindedly. 
And I think if Winslow did this procedure a little more often, he might be on my side. He did write the book. All right, I'm returning to the first read again. And scrubbing. I'm scrubbing. Pick up the pace a little bit. Remember, light and fast. You know? Light and fast. Just like the way I play. It's the way I clean, it's the way I play. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That's how it is. All right. Now, see, I'm going to clean off my toothbrush. And you'll see why in a minute. Get that kaboom out of there. And douse the harmonicas with some hot water. Just going to get that kaboom off. Rub them down with my fingers. It reads off with my fingers. All right. Now I'm going to clean my workstation. I'm rooming with Ed tonight, and I don't want him to come back and find junk and dirt. It's like the Boy Scouts. You leave the area better than you found it. Now, what, here's where the uh, alcohol comes in. I have poured the alcohol into a little Holiday Inn container, and now I am dunking the reeds in, okay? I'm being careful that the reeds don't hit the other reed plates and knock anything out of alignment. And I just let them sit for a bit, maybe move them around a bit. This serves to get the kaboom taste out and sterilizes them. I'm also wiping down my toothbrush. While those are cleaning, I'm going to deal with my comb here. I'm just taking my toothbrush and uh, removing gunk that has been uh, caught here in the reeds. All right, so that's done. Okay. Now, I gotta put the harmonica back together. You saw me take it apart. It's just a reverse of that, okay? I take the reeds out, lay this rag here on my, uh, on my uh, lap, and just tap them out. These reeds are embossed so well and work so well that they make noise when I'm tapping them out. I wipe them down lengthwise, very softly, just to get any extra build up that I can wipe off, clean them just that much better, and uh, put them there, ready to go on. Do the same thing with the other, the other set of reed plates. Now folks, when I'm on the road, I'm on the road a lot. Ha! <laughs> I'm on the road a lot. Now that's cool. Not really. Anyway, I'm grateful for my job, but I, this is something I have to do. This is part of my job, and I don't like doing it, and I do it to about at least seven or eight harps a week, a week, okay? If I have three or four gigs in a week, I'm cleaning at least seven or eight harps. I'm not OCD. I play, you know, four-hour sets. They get dirty. They're gross. I, like, I spent a lot of money on my harps, and I spent a lot of time making my own harps, and I like to keep them acting and performing the way they did the first day I, I got them or made them, okay? Again, this is a Joe Spires custom harmonica, and it was made in, in 07. All right, now it's time for the cover plates. Take the cover plates out. You get to scrub these a little more because they're a little more durable than the reeds, of course. Still, you want to be careful not to bend them. Scrub them down. Scrub them down. I want to make sure and get all that alcohol off. If the person you've bought the harmonica from or you have sealed it, you want to make sure you don't get that alcohol on the comb, okay? Because 
the sealant may not be resistant to something as obtrusive as alcohol. Okay? So that's what you want. You want to be cautious of that. Alright, now I'm going to check. Make sure it's airtight. It is. Hold it up against the light. Well, I noticed the six blows out of tune, so I'm gonna have to take that apart and tune it up. But uh, that's a not another video for me. Lots of videos like that. All right, you guys have fun.